Yeah, so I'm Kyri, I'm from Fli Finland, and uh, I'm currently working in an open software consultancy and open source consultancy firm. And we started developing IOTUS in there because, well, mainly, first I tell why. Uh, well, we discovered that our, our reporting wasn't so good. At that time, we lost, in it, well, roughly about 50,000 euros a year for just our reports that never got to the system. So then we had an idea, or IATUS as we thought, and uh, there came this weird feeling that we can do things pretty much faster. And uh, well, first of all, I was going to tell you about the manifesto, the reasons for this system. So the world is decentralized. When was the next uh, last time that you had to share a document with your customer or with your co-worker and you were in a situation that it just wasn't, well, the disconnectivity of email isn't the re always the greatest way to do it. So your CRM system should make this easy and flexible. And uh, sharing is security. As Linus Torvalds once said, that only WIMPs use tape backup. Real men just upload their stuff to the FTP and let the rest of the world mirror it. And you are often online, uh, offline, I'm sorry. And uh, this is basically the IATUS, what it is. It's a offline CRM application. So you can use it wherever you are, in a train, in a bus. And uh, currently we have embedded it to a few mobile devices so you don't have to always open up your laptop. In example, a bus, which is, isn't the, the greatest way to do it. And web is a native platform. IATUS is based, uh, it's a simple one HTML file actually, which just gets controlled by JavaScript, render all the UIs and everything. So like these days, people are more and more using web applications. The forms, breadcrumbs, navigations are coming more and more the real basic intuitive way of doing things <laughs> and applications. Speed matters. No one likes to wait. And Speed, uh, Saviola, if I think right, said once that uh, no one likes to wait in a queue or in a restaurant for food, and we definitely don't want to wait for our web pages to load. So that's why offline simple Ajax uh, user interfaces are pretty nice solutions. And everything can be connected. You never really know in a CRM system what you want to connect to each other. Like you have a meeting notes, and you may have a meeting notes about those meetings, and you also ha may have uh, our reports of writing those meeting notes, or whatever. Or you have a project which has a different kind of tasks, and they have different kind of projects underneath, and just endless loops. So you really don't want someone else to think the structure for you beforehand. So IATUS basically manages everything online, at least on our point of view. We have a billable hours, expenses, notes, and contacts and events that we can all handle through one application. And uh, to connect data to each other, we use tags. In here, this is actually a simple uh, one page of the IATUS itself. With tags, we can have a simple tag, just like name me, or then we can have a tag named project, semicolon, and uh, something else. And we can also add it add value to it. So it can be, in example, project support for that and that equals year 2008, in example. And tags just connect uh, objects to each other. So every object that has a different tag just gets connected. Nothing fancy about it. And uh, well, we get back to this later. And we also have faster reporting. The fast speed is really a factor for us. So in here, in example, is a simple uh, report form. There are a few types of these forms, but report form is a basic scheme. Uh, we have a date, hour, description, tags, what you want to link it. It's a, whenever you press create here, it gets updated to the app and you get a new blank form and you can always start all over. So it just keeps going and going and going. And uh, well, a little bit about the background of IATUS or the structure itself. So the bonus of IATUS is based on jQuery JavaScript library, which is a fast and concise JavaScript library 
basically the same as dozers and prototypes and all these. It has all the HTML traversing and uh, CSS selectors and all these kind of thing. And it's of course chainability, which is really important on this project. And Ayatus is actually just a huge plugin to jQuery, as jQuery has its own plugin structure. And it's a namespace under .ayatus. And the heart of it is jQ Couch. It's a jQuery plugin for CouchDB. I will get back to that later on also. And uh, basically what it is is a, uh, just a wrapper for CouchDB database which uses RESTful JSON packages to communicate. And uh, this jQ Couch just makes it easier for developers to communicate with uh, CouchDB with JavaScript. In here I have a simple example of uh, how to create a uh, new database to the CouchDB. So it's based on connections. We have uh, three different connections, database, doc documents, and views, and they have each their own methods. And it's also chainable, so we can just continue this line like we, when we get here, if, if this were document creation, we get the document back and we can update it and also save it and or destroy it in the same center, same line. And the soul, the CouchDB. CouchDB is actually a really huge thing to talk about, so I'm only going to go through it briefly. Basically what it is, it's a NR DBMS word monster. Uh, it's a document database server accessible through uh, RESTful JSON API. And the greatest thing is that it's totally schema free. There are no tables or columns or everything. You just push like JSON objects inside it and retrieve them. And uh, it has a simple replication utility inside it. It uses HTTP protocol and uh, you can you can use it with any language actually that has HTTP and uh, JSON library with it. So you don't really need a JavaScript or something like that to use. You can PHP, Ruby, C, whatever. And the CouchDB itself is written in Erl Erlang, which is a really nice language, by the way. And then a little bit about IATU structure. IATU is basically tr structured on three parts. There is this documents, which uh, IATU document is a Basically, JSON object, which has a lot of, uh, uh, it's ha it has its own metadata, in example, and uh, can contain file attachments. And every time we read or are saving document, it gets automatically validated and repaired if the scheme has changed for some reason on that behalf. And this is a simple structure of the document. These two ID and revi revisions are the CouchDB's defaulted meta values, and then inside the value data we collect everything, key value pairs, what we have. Okay, I just views. Uh, this is almost like model view controller uh, pattern, but not, not even close actually. But views is, uh, it's just a way of defining uh, like listing and view edit. Here we have a example like part of a listing views, and then we have a uh, edit views, so it just renders the scheme and uh, whatever view we are in and accordingly to those rules. And uh, the UI, UI is still a little bit rough, but we can handle it. Okay, and then we have some system defined views. Those are like the previous one was uh, uh, automatic views which are generated from the schemes. And so we have then system defined views, which are actually coded views. And in example, front page and trash archive tags. And this is a preview of an archive view. And uh, we just, in an archive front page, we see the list of archived objects recently. Okay, I have those types. They are schemed CouchDB documents. Here we have a simple scheme from a, this is written in JavaScript uh, file, which defines the IATUS type. We have currently inside, we have uh, the our report, node, contact, and event types an experience report type. So basically we just define what we have. We have a title, label it title, it gets localized later on. Widget, this uses widget text. No config for that, default value null, required true. So pretty simple. And they all also types can define their own views. Well, plugins. I just can be extended in a lot of ways. Basically the easiest way is to just write uh, 
get to the JavaScript core and just start writing there or create new views, content types, whatever. Or you can just, just use any language that you prefer and talk to the couch through simple API -E or to the couch stems like straight to it. Uh, and of course, plugins can be used to connect the edges to uh, existing CRM systems. So you can create links between them easily. And a little bit of a feature. We are currently building a expansion packs, which are more like a total, you can totally rewrite the whole like system with just the expansion pack. You can select them from the preferences pages, just say enable this expansion and you can define everything, change everything everywhere inside that expansion. It's, it's still a little bit in a thought. And of course we have a scaffolds coming. So you can easily create those types and expansions more. Currently it's just copy C, copy V and rename it. So that's it. But we'll have a scaffolds for them also. Um, Pillow Talk is actually going to be pretty nice. It's actually going to be much larger than we actually thought in the first place. But it's going to, uh, we are going to use it instead of the HTTP protocol uh, based replication. We will use XMPP, so Yapper, for the uh, replication. So whenever your contacts came online and they have IATUS installed, all your data gets replicated with them and the other way around. And also we are creating a new UI for the mobile devices, a little bit better CSS, the larger buttons and more padding between them. And uh, currently we, are, we have a implementation of IATUS in a Nokia internet tablets and OLPC had it running, but hopefully we will get more of this soon. And uh, I will get back to this one view for a second. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so basically this is a, this is the simple view, view view of the node object, or node type. And we have a title and description in here. The description is actually, you can select which uh, content it is. This is currently a markdown. And uh, then we have a metadata visible on the view. And we have also, as you can see, a uh, reviser and revised and revisions. So it has a full revision uh, support. So whenever uh, you are editing a note in, a, let's say, in a meeting room, and you are talking in at the middle time, you're writing at some points, and then you're talking again, because it's web application, it's really important that it has auto-saving. Because otherwise, if your browser crash, you just lost what you ever was written before. So it auto-saves to document in, you can prefer, the, the default is five minutes, and uh, it actually checks if anything has changed, otherwise it doesn't create a new revision for it. But yeah, and then you can browse the revisions back and forth and edit the previous ones or make them as a new one and those kind of things. And uh, yeah, actually there is, uh, I think I thought too fast because I still have time, but uh, Okay, let's check this out. Uh, resources, IATUS is located at iatus.info. And uh, of course, jQuery and jQuery Couch is part of, is added to the plugins, the jQuery side. And CouchDB, I really hope people go check it out. It's actually uh, really usable in many cases. This is, IATUS is just one application that you could use to build on it. Uh, what else? Well, yeah, basically what we are running it is on now, we use a desktop machines and we have a company server, which is a, a central replication server. So all of our consultants replicate to there and replicate them from there to their machines. So everyone has a copy of everything all the time and still everything is accessible offline and still, of course, backed up to the central server and for easier access. So, because we are not always close up, so we cannot do peer-to-peer -peer replication. So we use the peer-to-peer -to, -peer to the central server and then everybody peers from there. So that is basically it currently. And there are a lot of future plans also for little machine-to-switch sets. Okay, thank you. <laughs>